Hello everyone, and if you guys know the barst of that song, you guys will know what day it is. It's just not another day. Yes, it's a Wednesday. Yes, it's the 10th, but it's not another day. It is far from another day. I do. Um, somebody just uh, somebody just actually commented on my post that I actually did on the uh, the very video that I was on. For those of you who are not aware, for those of you younger, for you, for the, for the older crowd that was around at some capacity back in those days, you guys will know what the bars of that song are from. Um, today, uh, back in 1975, November 10th, at about from 7 p.m. to I think of 9 p.m. or something like that, um, or so on. Um, today is the 46th anniversary of the sinking and the disappearance. Well, well, on November 10th, 1950, 1975, um, the Edmunds Fitzgerald disappeared from the face of the earth. Yes, that is the yes, that is the Gordon White Lightfoot song, "The Wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald." For those of you who know it. Um, you guys know that he is, uh, that song came out a year later to pay tribute to the, to the Great Laker that went down. Uh, the reason why I'm saying Great Laker is because it went down, um, it went down at one of the Great Lakes and that Great Lake was what the Chippewa in that area called Gitchigumi and Gitchigumi. Get your gummy, get your gummy. Lake Get Your Gummy was Lake Superior. Lake Superior is where a lot of the, um, where a lot of the big Lakers um, shipped iron ore, coal. Uh, kerosene, anything that they, between this iron ore, you know, because um, cause there were a lot of steel mills in, because um, there was a lot of steel mills around there, and back in the 60s, 70s, and 80s, up until now, they still do it. The Great Lakers now um, ship things back and forth because at one point, Michigan um, and the Great Lakes, Minnesota, whatnot, they were all powerhouses to our industrial um, powerhouse that we have in the Midwest and the Northeast, uh, New York and New York and so forth. Um, Michigan, because we know Michigan is home of the car, of the automobile. And back then, you know, the, the automobile and the big three were still pretty big, even though they were struggling. So Gijigumi is, I actually wanted to figure out what Gichigumi actually means and I actually looked it up. Um today in the Ojibwe um language class um you see Gichigami Gichigami or Kichigami but it's really Gichigumi. It means big water or big sea uh huge water or big sea which Lake Superior is pretty big. Oh yeah, fun fact. You guys want to know why the Lakers are actually called the Los Angeles Lakers? Well, the boats on the um, on the lake were Lakers. They were these big, wide tanker type things. They were huge, and the reason why they had to be so big is because they had to combat the winters and the storms out there. And um, in November, uh, during the rest of the year, it was sort of, um, it was sort of like ho hum. I mean, there was a couple of storms here and there, maybe, maybe some, maybe some choppy seas. But November is when Lake Superior and the Great Lakes um, were susceptible to um, lake lake effect storms and lake effect snow. So effectively, there would be snow on the ground in November up in the Great Lakes because you're right near Canada. So if you guys aren't 
aren't so, you know, for those of you younger um, than, and for those of you looking for a geography lesson, the Great Lakes are right near uh, Canada. So they get lake effect snow and the, the storms are very ferocious. And the Edmund was unfortunately on the night of the 10th was unfortunately um was unfortunately uh and unfortunate unfortunately unfortunate to be caught in one of these storms and <clears throat> as the song goes um at uh, 7 p.m the main hatchway gave ding and fellas it's good to know you and uh and then uh, it goes on to be, you know, the captain wired in that he had water coming in and the good ship and the crew was in peril. Um, that's where the song goes. And yes, I didn't want to sing it. Yes, I didn't want to um, play it because I wanted to sing it a little bit. It's actually the first time I've actually sang something or sung something that's actually on key. Um... And uh, the song um, really, really kind of gives you the, you know, how ferocious these uh, these storms were and what these Lakers had to go through uh, when they went through. Um, you know, and uh, so what happened was is, is uh, you know, they woke up. The song, if you guys listen to the song, um the the term that that Lightfoot constantly uses constantly uses in the song is he'll say the gills of November came slashing and he'll sit there and you'll and you'll hear the gills of November the winds of November and um basically from what you read in the song um it's too rough it was too rough that day um, everything was disrupted on board. It was kind of, kind of one of those days. And then eventually, as the song says, at 7 p.m. the main hatchway caved in and the cook said, fellas, it's good to know ya. It's been good to know ya. And then, um, of course, the captain, of course, the captain wires it in that he's got this taken in water, which, which was that sentence of the main hatchway gave in. On the Great Lakes because of because um, there's footage from the day from back in the day the camcorders that were very rudimentary that was a pretty ferocious storm and um, and of course uh, later that night when his lights went out of sight came the wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald you know um, <clears throat> so. It's either the can or either the ship sank or capsized or split in two. Um, they found out years later that the ship did actually capsize because it was very fairly big ship. Um, the Edmund Fitzgerald wasn't small by any means, so um, I'll give you a shot of the Edmund. And I think I just saw that the, um, yeah, and it actually did split in two. If you guys can't look, I'll, uh, I'll give you a shot of. I'll give you guys a shot of it. It did actually split in two. Um, the reason how I know this is because you guys can see in that shot that there's two separate wrecks. There's two separate, there's a bow section. It was that long. The reason why I say that is because that's what the, um, that's what the boat looked like in, um, that, that boat right there, that's how big the Edmund Fitzgerald was. So my guess is it took on water, it split in two and it sank. So, um, but they didn't know that because they didn't have reconnaissance back then. They didn't have the boats to, and the, um, surveillance equipment to deal with that. So, <clears throat> so most likely, you know, it took on water and obviously got heavy on one end 
and it split just like the Titanic. It just did a Titanic and split in two. So it's referred to as the Titanic of the Great Lakes. Very good ship for what it was worth. Very good. Um, the crew had been with the crew had been together for a long time, um, and there were twenty nine of them, including the captain. Twenty nine. So that's twenty nine souls that completely perished in maybe one of the worst maritime accidents ever to happen. And um, and Gordon Lightfoot does a very good job of uh, setting the mood in the in the song, and just telling you just how nasty this this was. Um, the reason why I feel chills when I listen to the song is because because um, I live right near the sea, but also, and I've been on ships many many times, and you and you never know when you're gonna have a problem. I've been lucky to be on ships, whether they be big or small, and get home safe, knock on wood, knock on wood, that that happens every time I get on a boat. Uh, the other reason is, is because my uncle, my great uncle Bill, was a construction battalion uh, CB uh, in the Navy. So, um, so it's kind of a, you know, it kind of hits home a little bit historically that, you know, I had a... I had a uh, relative that was on the sea and the water during the uh, Second World War, so um, so it definitely hits. So it definitely hits differently for everybody. Although um, it will hit, although it did hit a lot of people. Although it did hit the twenty nine families uh, that got affected because there were twenty nine crew members, and you know twenty of them, and which is why. Um, which is why when he sings the song, which he goes, "All that remains is the is the is the memories and the lives of the the wives, the sons, and the daughters, and all that other stuff." Because because he sounds like he's from um, the memories. Uh, we'll leave with them in Detroit. I think I was looking this up. Um, there was a there's a bell in Detroit that rings uh, Mariners Church in Detroit holds annual service for Edmund Fitzgerald so what happens is is there's an annual observance every year at the Mariners Church in Detroit and um, every year when And it's just not for them. So it's um, so on this day, um, so on this day back, and so this day, because of the Edmund Fitzgerald, the Great Lakes Memorial Service um, will um, usually does it. Now it rings on the day this happens. The the um the bell will ring 29 times not for hours but for the lives that were lost but they did one on sunday for the roughly 6000 people that lost their lives and roughly 6000 shipwrecks on record that's how many people that's how many boats have gone that's how many boats in the last i don't know 100 plus years that have gone down uh in superior michigan Huron, Erie, and Ontario, and uh, Ontario, as uh, as good old Blightfoot would say it, Ontario, because he's from uh, I think he's uh, Canadian, because I think you all is from uh, the Lake Superior, Huron, and Erie, and Ontario, because uh, usually the uh, because usually the uh, the Canadians are like A or O or whatever Ontario, um. And again, that's another shot. That's that's another back shot of the. Uh, this is another back shot of the uh, the Great Laker in her prime. In her prime, um, I think she was out of Wisconsin, which is, um, which is why it's highlighted in the song. Uh, which, which is why it's highlighted in the song when they talk. When you talk. When she talks. When 
Lightfoot talks about the origins of the of the of the ship. He goes like I think he I forget the lyrics, but um he goes It came from a stale mill in Wisconsin in Wisconsin and and Freighter's go she was bigger than most with the captain and crew well seasoned. Um I think this is the first time I think of saying it. I haven't sounded a key. Um, but my my hearts and prayers go out to the families that lost their lives uh, because it was very recent. So a lot of the younger, a lot of the kids that were, a lot of the kids and the wives and the sons and all the families, a lot of those kids are probably still around today, um, 45 years later. So the, those kids are probably... Uh, so if you're over four or five years old when that happened, all well, those kids are now are now grown are now grown. They're fifty years old and they, you know, they never knew their father or their uncle or um, or whoever lost their. Sh so my thoughts and my prayers and everything go out to those families that were affected by this because this is something. This was a. I, I mean, there's six thousand of them that hit every year, but this one was the most. Um memorable one because of just how the way how it happened and it and they're starting to find more as they get the ability to go down to the below the waves and figure where these uh, ships all went um so yeah so i am going to so for so for those crew members i'm gonna do something that I usually do. Now, usually I give 10 minutes or 20. Usually I give a full minute or um, usually I give a full minute or everything. But since this is the Edmund Fitzgerald, I just thought it would be good to give 29 seconds, 29 seconds of silence for those who lost their lives today. November 10th, starting now. And that was my 29 seconds to signify the 29, um, to signify the 29, uh, people that lost their lives in that, in the, in that, in maybe one of the greatest maritime tragedies. Um, I mean, there's been a lot of them, but one that were, that one that was remembered, one that will not be forgotten 46 years on, because today, ladies and gentlemen, is the 46th anniversary of the Edmund Fitzgerald going down. And, um, Hopefully the men that perished and are down at the bottom of Lake Superior. Um, hopefully their spirits and hopefully their spirits um, are in heaven uh, looking over their loved ones, um, even though they may be gone. So, yes, I will end it right here. Um, everybody, this has been a, a tribute to the Edmund Fitzgerald, the 46th anniversary. Um as I said, my heart and my my heart and my thoughts go out to the souls and the minds and hearts of those that were affected in this 46 years ago, whether it be friends, family, or loved ones, or um, girlfriends, boyfriends, wives, um, and girlfriends and whatever. Um, but yeah, to those 29, to, to those 29 crewmen that braved the elements on the on the open waters of the great of the huge ocean of the great the great the great sea um the huge the huge lake um i give it and i also give it to um you know also respect to mother nature and good old get your gimme uh as the chippewa would say so everybody on a summer note i'm gonna print tonight
Let everybody rest in peace. Usually I do my opening, but can't be joyful on a day like this. But everybody, everybody out there, rest in peace. Hopefully everybody reflects on it. And um, I'll see you guys on Friday for 2.57. So peace out, everybody. Good night.